This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness, and welcome back to another exciting episode of For Reform Friday, where we play some random video game, and today's game is called Undying. It is a zombie survival game where you play a mother trying to make sure that her son can survive after she dies from being bitten by a zombie. Tragic, right? Yes, because it's an absolutely fantastic game. Okay, so we're going to go to continue. I've already been playing a little bit. We're just going to pick up where I left off. I didn't get too far, just a little, little tidbit there into the game. We're only on day five, as you saw there. Okay, so it looks like we need to explore the subway, and I'm trying to remember. Okay, so it's, it's nine in the morning. Um, we just woke up and you control your character with W A S and D. Some of the stuff in this is a, is a little, feels a little clunky with the way they did it. It feels like it was for controller and it was a, it was a bad port over to keyboard. Kind of, it's nothing to like to, to the, that would make you want to not get the game, but it's a little strange. So it's something that I haven't seen before. So I just want to make sure I point that out. Like you can check in with E, but then there's like lots of stuff like hitting C and, and like, well, well I think, uh, if we take like this one is F to activate it and you can see, we got like, we can track it. We can have her do it or Cody do it or C to go back to, cause we have to do that in order to, um, do the thing and uh, we have storage box It also I don't know if this got added let's see no it does not have the shift to click which is weird control click doesn't do anything you have to literally grab the item and drag it over which I find kind of like archaic and you can't move items that are equipped so there's a lot of little like some quality of life stuff that kind of needs to happen with this game. I'm hoping it happens in a future patch. This game is an early access game. So all of these little nitpicks that I'm showing you here, 100% get a pass. The gameplay is really cool beyond that. Um, I'm not trying to like immediately start off on just ragging on the game. Oh, we do need to collect some water here. Oh, that one's fixed. We gotta go, that's right, the other one's upstairs. I know we're supposed to explore the subway, but I just remembered that we, our child is thirsty and we're thirsty. So this apparently keeps filling up. So, oh, it's broke. Wait, it's broke again. Be able to, I thought I should just be able to grab out of it. I thought I fixed it. So we gotta, we gotta fix it every time we want to collect water. Oh, I did not realize that. Hmm. That's interesting. All right, let's go downstairs and check our supplies. We might be able to find some stuff while we're out though, as well. So power and stuff are still on somewhat, but the house has been absolutely ravaged. Like all the stuff is broken as you see there. Or you know what? This The fix it thing could be us filtering the water because it's cloth, charcoal, and I think that's a metal sheet. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, we're a little peckish. So we do have a carton of milk and some crackers that we could eat. I think what we'll do here we're gonna give the milk to the kid. So that'll make him happy there. And then we'll go back into the inventory. She'll use one, he'll use one. And then that should hold him a little bit. She's gonna need something to drink though. She's struggling a little bit. Hopefully we can find something while we are out. Okay, so let's check our situation here. Crowbar is almost broken, but we do have the baseball bat. That one is broken. I'm actually going to drop that baseball bat off into the storage here. Yeah, I really wish we could, could like control or shift click stuff over. You can right click and click like take out or right click and store, but that's like, that's too many. Like just shift or it seems weird that they wouldn't put that in there to me even being an early access game. Okay, so we're going to go to the city gonna take us one hour to get there and the subways right here I've yet to be in the subway so I don't know I don't know how well this is gonna go and I gotta remember I gotta remember how to attack okay that's right right click okay all right they did a really cool thing that that I want to show you if we go over here and we take a look at the the statuses like she keeps getting symptoms over time that cause issues for example she has the mild drain so her water will change by negative 5% with max water not being less than 20. But then the additional effect, effect is eating rotten food and dirty water has no negative effects on her. And then there's this one, the mild gut ulcer, which will decrease her HP by three every hour when she's starving. 
In return, she restores 1% of her health per hour when her water is greater than 80. And you can see these have a lasting effect, so they go away after a period of time. So these are gonna last another 30 hours. These are got three hours each. All right, well, we're back in the subway. Let's see what kind of stuff we can find here. We can't go that way, can we not? No, we can't get through any, can we get through this one? How are we supposed to, oh, here. Okay, hold on. Easy, easy. Okay, I think we're all right. Fighting zombies is not something you really want to do in this game. The combat is like it's a mother wielding a baseball bat. Imagine who probably has never really wielded one. That's kind of what the combat feels like. Hold to open and uh, yep, but we're going to pick that up and pick that up. Hoping, I'm hoping we can find some water. We can tell the kid to do it too and he'll, he'll rummage it. And he gains points, as you saw there, when he did it. Now we can just open it. Alcohol, that's not bad if anybody gets hurt. Can I not go down there? Okay, I guess we gotta go around and find a ramp somewhere. She won't jump. Oh, I hear a zombie somewhere. Oh, it's right on the other side here. Ooh, we may have to get into a fight. All right, we're gonna hold. Oh, she hit the kid. That's not good. That's not good. Die, lady. Okay, that wasn't too bad. You can charge the attack too, but I just had bad timing. Okay, so now they're gonna talk. Uh-oh, what happened? Oh no! Oh no! We're gonna treat him. We'll treat him. Yeah, be strong. You got this. Let's check him. What happened? What happened? Okay, he's good. He's good. Does he have a status effect? No. He just, he just got hit. He just got hit. Okay. He'll be fine! We can hold his hand too and carry him with us. I should have made him, I should have left him back there. He should, he, he would have stayed. We got to fix the ramp in order to get down. Okay. Go around. Let's check this. We do have the crowbar. We can unlock it. So you can do stuff and then have him watch you too. So you hit space bar. And now he learned, he'll slowly learn over time how to do what we just did. Well, we found some crackers. That's good. I just, I mean, I need some water though. More alcohol. Lots of stuff for medicines and stuff down here, but we're not having much luck in the water department. Let's try this. That's the note. Okay. I don't care. We'll read it later. Uh, let's make, let's let Cody do it. Okay. Got some bandages. Looks like we got some stairs here. I hear a lot of zombies. Oh no. Okay. Can they get through? Looks like they're stuck. So can we place him like over here? Like stay over there out of the way. Okay, we can open it. I do not want to 2v1 these zombies. Let's grab the kid. Let's put him over here. Yeah, stay there. Okay, so they're looking. We gotta let them go into look mode for a hot minute. Because I do not want to go 2v1. I can open the door and maybe bash the one down. I think we might have been able to go over this way too. Maybe. Oh. Metal pipe. Yeah, pick that up. Can I fight with that? Oh, I can. Alright, let's equip that. Let's see what that... That should be... That should be good for zombie bashing open. Yeah, bash him. Right in the face. Bash him again. And again. Okay, there we go. So that wasn't too bad combat wise. We got it. He dropped some stuff. Let's check it. Any water? No. Just raggedy clothes. Okay. I think we're going to have to come up here. We're going to have to 2v1. Possibly. Okay, we can. We got this. We got this. We took a hit, but we got 10 HP. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good at all. Um, she cannot die. That would be bad. Let's crowbar it. Teach the kid. Oh, first aid kit and some bandages. Okay, let's pick this stuff up. Let's uh go into our backpack. Can I use these on her? Okay, that gave us a little bit. Let's use another one. Okay. 
I think we're good. The kid will be fine. He only lost 10 HP when he got hit. Let's have him do this. Teach him some stuff. Rummage it. Yeah, rummage it. Look at you surviving. Good little child. Okay, let's loot all of that stuff. Pretty good looting experience so far. Oh, also, you can't be out at nighttime with her. The longer she's out at nighttime, the more the virus. Yeah, see, like, we need to get back. This is bad. I wasn't paying attention to the time. Child, stick with mom. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. We're going to be up for an entire hour. This is going to be bad for us, like, really bad for us. I should have been paying attention to the time. Yeah. We got an hour travel time. She might turn into a zombie. This could go bad. Yeah, I know. Don't have a heart attack. We're trying to get back. We're trying to get back. I did not realize how late it was. Go. Confirm. Don't die, lady. Don't die. Okay, we got to get upstairs. We got to get upstairs. We're almost there. That was pushing it way too close. Way too close. Don't turn to a zombie. Don't turn to a zombie. Sleep. Yes. Whoa, that was really close. That might have done some damage. <laughs> Just a little bit. Just a little. She'll, she'll eat the kid and be fine in the morning. Okay, no zombies in sight. That's great. Okay, so now we got to pick a symptom that she's going to have. This one here could be very interesting. So her current symptoms become more severe and all new acquired symptoms will be more severe. But as an additional effect for 36 hours, if her food is greater than 80... Her max food gains plus one permanently every hour. That's pretty interesting. I like how they did this game. This is, this is, uh, it makes you think because you're like, well, do we want to take the hit for that? That's a pretty OP buff. I think I'm going to take it because if we do it right, we could get plus 36 to food permanently, which means she should never starve. Although I don't know how low it has to get for her to have some negative side effects from not eating. Uh, we're going to give it a go. We're going to give this one a go. I'm going to go with it and see what happens. Already confirmed. Yeah, because we should have lost one. We should only have one other. Yeah, she's only got, she's got this one here. We're going to have to fix. Okay, so I think, uh, yeah, we should probably feed everybody real quick. At least feed everybody. We've got some crackers. Let's take one of these and I'm going to hold on to the potatoes because I don't know. Uh, we can cook and get, get this stuff to go up. Higher. So let's, um, let's grab one of the, no, I just want one. Okay. And I want one of these and that's a basic meal plus 30 and let's do, oh, is it pulling from the fridge? It might be pulling from the fridge. I might not have to do all this. I could just probably, no, nope, that leaves it plus 30. Okay. So pull out. So it's already at a hundred percent with just that and that. Okay. So let's put, let's put one in for the kid or right, confirm basic meal. We're going to cook it. Teach the child. Yes, watch me cook. Watch me cook, child. She's getting super thirsty, too. She she definitely needs to eat soon. Okay, so we'll go into the backpack, and uh, we'll use one on her. That gets her to 61. She's still not there. She's going to have to eat another one. And then uh, we'll use one for the kid. Okay, let's make one more here for her. Teach the child again. All right, fantastic. So this should get her... Yeah, okay, she's, she's got to stay there, and she will be good to go on food. Okay, so let's grab, I think if we were really low on wood, which is not good, we're going to grab some of that out of there. We need to grab that, that. I don't know what else we needed for the, the sink. Uh, we just need a little bit of charcoal. Actually, I don't think I need to grab that stuff out of there. I think it's pulling from the thing. I thought I could make charcoal here. Hold on. Oh, yeah, I can. It's right here. I'm just blind. All right, well, uh, it's going to use a bunch of our wood, but we need water. We have to have water. We're going to do it. Tell the kid to watch. Okay, and then we're definitely going to have to go out and find some more wood. That That has got to happen. And then let the kid watch us so he can learn to do this. So we're going to get five out of this? I think, yeah. Okay, so she's too tired to do anything. Let's drink one of these waters. Oh, nice. They gave her 40. I got to keep an eye on her. It's coming out of the faucet slowly. Now, see, that's what upstairs said, but I wasn't able to get enough out of there before it told me I had to repair it again, which is strange to me. I wonder if, like, one of the updates screwed something up. 
Because this is this had already been fixed. Hmm. I do not know. Okay, well that's fine. Uh, at least we got at least we got one for each of them. So we'll use that one on the kid. All right, time to head back out. Let's go to the world map. We're gonna go back to the city. All right, so I don't know. Uh, it looks like it's raining and the child's not happy. Chill out, child. It's just a little rain. You won't melt. We're gonna go back to the uh, subway. This time we gotta pay close attention to the time. It's already kind of late, on day six. But I wanna run down this way real fast and see what we may have missed down here. Are you are you coming down here? Come on. Oh, it's creepy. All right, confirm that, confirm. That did get us, all right, what, what are we doing now? This is it, found it. There'll be emergency extraction in 54 days and the location is the prison. Well, uh, it looks like we're gonna have to fix, fix dad's car. Okay, all right, great, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, also supermarket, okay, yeah, 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 great, 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 yep, okay, okay, we got, we got a game plan. No, I don't want you to do that, I want you to hold your child's hand so he can keep up with us. Oh, wait, what do we got here? Pick up? Confirm, confirm, okay. I guess all that's like backstory that you could read if you really wanted to know stuff, but I'm like, man, I don't care. I just want to murder zombies and scavenge, that's what it's all about. Alright, so we're gonna go out, we're gonna see if we can go in any of the other buildings out here, outside of here. I need to get some more wood so that I can repair that ramp too. All right, looks like we got a park where we can actually forage for some stuff, but I also hear a zombie. Let's just bum rush it. Yeah, that seemed to work relatively well. We take a hit. I don't know if we took a hit or not, but you know, bum rushing it did the thing. All right, let's uh, let's do this and teach the child. Child, learn things. Yeah, our food just keeps going up. That's absolutely fantastic. Oh, looky here. Operate. Oh, we can grill stuff. Interesting. Oh, we got another zombie. Nice. I don't even think he got a hit on us, but our... Oh, maybe he did. Our, uh, our thing's about to break, which is not good. Did you learn things? You learn things. Is that all that's here? Oh, we can chop? Yeah, learn how to do this. What do we get? Did we get a bunch of plant? We did. Oh, nice. Okay, all right, yeah, 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 we need more. Can we just keep doing it? Oh, I wonder if there's like an infinite wood source. Pick up. Can we just make the child do it now? Oh, hold E to chop. F to, to break branch. So what have we been picking up? Have we been actually picking up wood? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, F to break a branch. Oh, I, I think the tree does have durability. It's going down. So I wonder if we were to chop it, can we uh, E to chop? Now we need an ax. Cody to break a branch? He can't, he still can't do it. Have you not learned anything? Ah, crap, it's nighttime. All right, we gotta go. We gotta go. Pick it up, come on. Come on. And stop crying about the cold rain. It's just rain. All right, we definitely, we definitely have to come back here. This is a serious injury. No, you're fine. You're a zombie. You're at 20%. Although our food went down, which is not good. We're missing means we're missing, um... Oh wait, did it just tell me I could store the kid in the trash can? I can't look right now, we gotta go, we gotta get back to the house. Home, oh we have a supermarket now that we can get to. Problem is, is, oh there's the car, we're gonna have more story. Problem is, is we need uh, more, more resources to, to make better weapons. We don't have crap for weapons right now, all of our stuff is broke. Like, you just go take one of the ones that's parked in the street. All right, and I think that's a pretty good wrapping up spot there. This should give you a pretty good idea of what the game has to offer. It's a pretty cool game. Um, and once again, it's early access, so some of the stuff that I had, complaints, all that stuff. Uh, I wouldn't worry too much about it because a lot of that stuff could get changed or it happens in early access. Sometimes it makes sweeping changes. Who knows? But I will put a link for it down in the description if you want to check it out. At the time of making,
making this video, you can grab it for 18 bucks on Steam. If you enjoyed this video and you found it informational and helpful and all that good stuff, consider hitting the subscribe button and notification bell so you can be notified when I upload other videos. All right, that is going to wrap it up for this episode. I want to give an absolutely massive shout out and thank you to my supporters on Patreon for making this episode possible. Y'all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to join my Lee Corps Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy and you'd like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.